In this video, I'm going to show you how to sell and withdraw from Coinbase to a bank or PayPal account. Plus, I'll also show you how to withdraw your crypto to an external address for the likes of a hardware wallet. I'm going to be showing you this all on the desktop today. If you'd rather a tutorial for the mobile app, you can head across to my tutorial in the description below. For more information or for a written step-by-step -step guide, please check out everybithelps.io. First up, let's take a look at withdrawing our crypto to a hardware wallet. If you're holding your crypto for the long term, it's recommended to withdraw this from a crypto exchange such as Coinbase to the likes of a wallet, as this will give you more control over your crypto. However, you can also withdraw your crypto to another platform or a crypto address. So let's take a look now. And this is under the assumption that you've already bought your crypto using Coinbase. If you're unsure how to buy crypto, how to sign up for Coinbase, then I'll have links in the description. So once you've logged in to Coinbase, from the dashboard, on the left-hand side of the screen, navigate to My Assets. Under the list named My Assets, select the cryptocurrency that you'd like to withdraw. And in this example, I'm going to be withdrawing Bitcoin to a Ledger hardware wallet. If you don't already have a Ledger hardware wallet, again, I'll have a link in the description. So I'm going to select Bitcoin and then send and receive in the top right of the screen. Now, if for any reason you don't have this option available, it might be because you've just opened your account or recently bought with the likes of a credit card. And as an anti-fraud measure, they do sometimes restrict your withdrawal access just so that you don't buy with a stolen card, buy Bitcoin, and then withdraw it from the platform. But if you do have access, first you're going to want to ensure that you're on the Send tab at the top of the screen, as essentially you want to send your crypto to an external address. You'll then see that Bitcoin is automatically selected from the Asset drop-down. Then, under the To field, is where you can enter where you're sending your crypto to. And this can be an address, a phone number, or an email. I'm gonna to send to an address, which is gonna be my Ledger address. So let's head across to Ledger Live now, then receive from the navigation bar on the left-hand side of the screen. Then choose Bitcoin and the account that you wanna credit. And it's important here that you only send Bitcoin to a Bitcoin address. As if you accidentally send Bitcoin to the likes of an Ethereum address, you will risk losing your crypto. And I'll show you an example of sending Ethereum in a moment. So I'm going to copy this address now. But alternatively, you can use the QR code with a mobile device. Then if I head back to Coinbase and paste this address into the To field, you then enter the amount of Bitcoin that you'd like to send. And this here is in dollars, but it will show up in whatever currency your account is set to. Alternatively, you can choose to send all. You can then put in a note, which may help you to track this transaction in the future with a reference of where you're sending this to. For example, I could put Ledger into here. Then choose to continue. And sometimes you'll receive an anti-fraudulent message, just ensuring that this is a genuine transaction and that you're not being scammed. You'll then receive a confirmation screen showing you where you're sending your crypto to and it is worth double checking that before you confirm. You'll also see our note in here and a network fee. Now when you're sending your transactions on any blockchain, you will need to pay fees for that to be processed by the miners. And the price that you're going to pay will depend on the blockchain that you're sending on. The fee here is about 57 cents and the estimated time will depend on how congested the network is but it's estimated to take around 30 minutes at the moment. To send your crypto to your wallet, then just choose Send Now, and your transaction will then complete. Now, if you want to send your tokens from Coinbase to the likes of a MetaMask wallet, maybe to use in conjunction with decentralized apps like Uniswap, then the process is very similar. So this time, we're going to select Ethereum, as we're going to be withdrawing that from Coinbase. Then choose Send and Receive from the top of the screen. We're going to send that to our MetaMask wallet. So I'll just open up my MetaMask extension. If you've got more than one network set up on MetaMask, you will need to make sure that you're connected to the Ethereum network. Then copy your Ethereum address from your MetaMask wallet. And you do this by clicking on the address above your balance. If we now head back to Coinbase, and paste in the address that we've just copied into the To field, 
We can also then put in a note which will help us to track this transaction. So I'm just going to enter in MetaMask. Then enter the amount that you'd like to send and confirm the transaction. Now, if you've been holding your crypto for a while and feel that now is the right time to sell your crypto and withdraw your cash or maybe your profits back to a bank account, I'm going to show you how to do that now. The first thing we'll need to do is sell our crypto from Bitcoin and back into a fiat currency like GBP or Euros, because a bank account obviously can't accept Bitcoin. When we then have our fiat currency, we can withdraw that to a bank account. So from your portfolio screen, if you select the crypto that you want to sell, which in my case is going to be Bitcoin, then on the right hand side of the screen, you'll then see you have the options for buy, sell and convert. Now, if you don't have the sell option available, it could be down to your region. Or, as I said earlier, it may be because you're a new account holder, you haven't completed verification, or you've just recently bought. And for anti-fraudulent reasons, sometimes they restrict you selling or withdrawing, especially when you've purchased with the likes of a credit card. I'm going to select sell as it is appearing. Then I enter the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to sell, which as you can see is in GBP. So although when we were sending, that was in dollars, this is in pounds, which can be a little bit confusing. I've got a few different options here of where I want to add to, which is either GBP wallet, Euro wallet, or I can add this directly to PayPal if I have it linked. First, I'm going to add my swapped Bitcoin to my GBP wallet, and then I'm going to show you how to withdraw that back to a bank account. Later, I'm then going to show you how to withdraw to PayPal. So once you've selected where it's going to be added to, we're going to choose to preview our sell, which then shows the price that you're selling your Bitcoin at. Any associated fees for selling, which are £1.99 for me, and then the total payout that you're going to receive. Now, selling with Coinbase is not the cheapest way to sell your crypto, as you may find better rates on other exchanges or even on Coinbase Advance, where you're allowed to define the price that you're selling your crypto at. And this way, you may find that you're getting better prices for your crypto. Plus, you may be paying less fees. But this is a very convenient and easy way to sell and cash out for beginners. So let's go ahead and sell now. And the sell order will then complete immediately. If we head back to our dashboard now, you'll see that the GBP is now showing under My Assets. So if we select British Pounds, as you can see on the right here, we then have the option to cash out. You can then choose to cash out all, or you can enter the amount that you'd like to withdraw. And then continue. From here, if you've already linked your bank account or your cards, these will appear in the list. You can also add new bank account details, card or PayPal when you're cashing out. First, I'm going to send to a bank account and then I'll show you PayPal in a minute. If this is the first time you've linked your account, you're going to be asked to send a small amount of GBP or euros from your account to the bank accounts that are provided just to be able to link the two accounts together. And a really important part of this is to include the reference, as essentially this is what links your Coinbase account to your bank transfer. Plus, it'll also need to be a bank account that's in the same name as your Coinbase account. Once you've gone to your online bank and transferred that small amount, and I sent £2, you're going to be notified once they've linked the accounts via email. When it's appearing in the list, choose to continue. And as you can see, there's no fees for withdrawing and it's going to cash out immediately back into my bank account. And when you're happy, you just choose to cash out now. If you want to withdraw to PayPal, this can be set up under your profile and settings and then by adding a bank method. And you'll just then need to log in link your account and allow access. Then choose it from the list of destinations. Choose continue and we'll then see a preview, letting us know that the funds will arrive on the same day. And when you're happy, you can cash out and you'll receive a notification via email letting you know once that's complete. So as you can see, withdrawing from Coinbase to the likes of a crypto address, a bank account or a PayPal can be simple once you know these steps. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. 
Thanks, and I'll see you soon.